What's going on guys? I got a very special guest in the studio to talk about today's project. Please go ahead and give a warm print pros welcome to our coma sales rep, Yulia. Hi Andrew, how what? are you? What's going on? How are you doing? Happy to be here today. So you want to talk about today's project? Yes, yeah, so I'm ecstatic to be here. So today we are going to be working on a very special project. As you all know, our product specialists work very hard every day. They are always helping new and aspiring decorators to find the perfect equipment to turn their dreams into a reality. So to show our gratitude to the entire team, I was wondering if we were able to go ahead and make tumblers for the entire team with vinyl. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, we could definitely make that Awesome, happen. let's do it. In today's episode, Juliet and I are going to show you how to make a bulk order of tumblers. What? I thought you were doing this. <laughs> no, you're gonna do this. I got you though, you're gonna be fine. Be fine. Okay, about. let's go. <laughs> For this project, we'll need a few sheets of permanent adhesive vinyl, a weeding tool, transfer paper, some rubbing alcohol, and a piece of cloth to clean our tumblers. Our Sign Master Cut Arms vinyl cutting software and our RCP 6301 25 inch vinyl cutter, which you can find on shop.recoma.com. I'll leave a link to the product in the card above and comments below. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna import the design into the software. And I'm gonna select new document. So I'm changing my letterhead to Imperial, that way I don't have to resize my file when I paste it over. So now we're gonna go to File, Import, and we're gonna look for the file which is called Tumblr Cut File, and we're gonna put Import as Editable. Now we could have simply set up each name as an individual design, However, since we are going to be decorating so many tumblers, it would take us forever to cut and weed each one. Once that's done, we'll load our vinyl into our cutter and lock it in place. Now you're going to set the cutting force to 200, blade on level 4, and the speed to 500. Alright, and now we're going to select the apple, create cut contour. We're going to make sure we select keep holes since the names do have some holes in them. We're gonna select accept, and now we're gonna go to the cut icon. And before we start cutting, we're gonna do an area test to make sure that all this will fit on our, on our vinyl sheet. I'm gonna select yes. All right, and now that we're set to go, we see that everything will fit on the vinyl cutter, or rather on the vinyl paper. Now we just cut now. And there we go. Hey Andrew, let me ask you, what makes permanent vinyl different from other vinyls? That's a good question. So with sticker vinyl, if you wash it, it comes off. Permanent vinyl, it stays. So biggest difference between those two would be that. So heat transfer vinyl, you need heat, so it's an extra step. Sticker vinyl, it washes off. And then permanent vinyl does not wash off. Wow. Was that all? That was very fast. Nah, we're not done yet. Oh. We're almost halfway through, I would say. Now we got to actually weed the designs though. All right, so before we start, Yulia, just remember the, the weeding tool. Just grab any corner and then just slowly peel so that you don't chip it. And really, that's it. So you can follow me if you want first and then you can go from there. Wow, that's easy. I can do that. There we go. That wasn't so bad, right? That was super easy. Next, we're gonna take our vinyl and transfer it over to our transfer sheet. To do that, we're just gonna take out our transfer sheet, peel off the backing, and lay it across our vinyl design. Then we're gonna apply a little pressure and cut the individual names into separate strips. I actually applied a sticker vinyl design to baseball helmets without the use of a transfer paper in a recent episode of Print Pros. I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the card above and in the comments below so you can see this alternative application process for yourself. All right, now that we got all our designs on our transfer sheet, all that's left to do is to transfer to the tumbler. Let's do it, I'm so excited. The team is gonna be ecstatic. So first, we're gonna take our rubbing alcohol and we're gonna clean the area where we're gonna apply our sticker vinyl. Once that's done, we'll peel off my design and adhere it directly to our tumbler. 
Then we're going to apply a little pressure and peel our transfer sheet away. Wow, man, it doesn't get easier than that. That was so simple. Well, I'm glad you think that because now we got to do the rest of these for the rest of your team. Let's get to it. And they're all done. All of our tumblers are officially decorated. What do you think, Julia? Wow, they are incredible. I can't wait to see the look on my guys' faces when they see them. They're gonna love these. They're definitely gonna love them. That's it for today, guys. If you're looking for more inspiration on your next printing project, or for more advice on custom apparel, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery Group. If you haven't done so already, be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments if there are other topics you'd like to see in a future episode of Print Pros. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time! time.